And good evening, everyone, and welcome to Papago Park. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network. It's play-by-play -play coverage of Southwest Woodbat Classic tournaments. Today, it's the Underclass Division Championship game in the 2016 Summer Classic. And we are underway. It's the Dirtbags and Wildfire Black in today's championship ballgame. Ty Mead, the leadoff hitter for the Dirtbags, took the first pitch for a ball and then promptly drives pitch number two into right field for a base hit. So Mead is aboard at first base that gets things started for the Dirtbags. And the batter will be J.J. Growlick. First pitch high and away for ball one. So Mead leads off, then Growlick. Alonzo Rubio will bat third. Plays Borowski is fourth, and Justin Williamson bats fifth. Matt Hall hits sixth for the dirt bags. Then Max Walker seventh. Mason Kokodinski is eighth. Anthony Caraballo bats ninth. And Nate Elliott bats tenth. All ten on the uh, lineup card today for the dirt bags. Dylan Pfeiffer starts for Wildfire Black. The left-hander gave up a base hit to get things started. Now a 1-1 count to the number two hitter, Growlick, and a step and a throw over to first base. Gets away. It's off the glove of the first baseman, and into second goes Meade. That'll be an error. So our runner goes to a second base for the dirt bags. One and one still the count on Growlick, and uh, nobody out here just... Getting settled in in the top of the first inning will set some of the defense for the wildfire as Eric Makel is in left field. Christian Dorsett is starts in center, and Christian Furman is in right field. Jimmy Villa is at third base. Robert Granillo, the shortstop. Crew Park plays second. And Jonathan Weiss at first base. Justin Clark behind the plate, catching Pfeiffer and a ground ball out towards second, backhanded. And a throw on to first base is in time. Park makes a nice backhand stab to throw out, uh, to make the play anyway, and then throw to first to uh, throw out Growlick. Meade goes to third base on the play, so a runner at third with one out for Alonzo Rubio. And a ground ball out to short will get the run in. Fielded. By Granillo and on to Weiss at first base. A 6-3 ground out, but a productive out. It's an RBI for Rubio as Meade scores from third on the play, and the Dirtbags have a first inning run. And Blaze Borowski will try to start it with two outs, and the base is empty for the Dirtbags. And puts the ball into left field. That's going to hang up, though, and that's... Put away, Makel there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Dirtbags get a run in the top of the first inning. They do it with one hit, and there was one error. And the runners left after a half inning of play. Dirtbags won. Wildfire coming up. Crew Park leads it off for Wildfire Black in the bottom of the first inning. It takes ball one from Blaze Borowski. Bounced in there, and it's two balls and no strikes. So Park leads off at second base. Aaron Makel, Eric Makel, I beg your pardon, starts in left field and bats second. Heading third is the shortstop, Robert Grenier. Then Christian Dorsett in center field bats fourth. Pitch up and in, 3-0. and oh. Heading fifth is the catcher, Justin Clark. Jimmy Villa at third base bats sixth. Then Dylan Fine for the pitcher is seventh. Jonathan Weiss will bat eighth and play first base. Christian Furman in right field bats ninth. Garrett Stubson, an extra hitter, bats tenth as that pitches over for a strike. And it's three and one. And that's ball four. So a leadoff walk gets things started for Wildfire in the bottom of the first. And the batter, Eric Mickle. First pitch misses for a ball. Now the set from Borowski in the 1-0. -oh. 
And a pitch on the inside corner, a strike, and it's one and one. Defensively for the dirt bags, it's Rubio in left field, Meade in center, Elliott in right. Now the bunch shown, that's stabbed out, throw to first base, and out at first. Mark too far off the bag over there at first base after Michael is not able to get the bunt down. And the catcher, Matt Hall, throws Park out at first base. Pokodinski there to apply the tag. And a ground ball foul. I give you the outfield, Rubio, me to Elliott, left to right, then Walker, Williamson, Growlick, and Kokodinski, third to first in the infield, Hall catching Borowski. Pitch low and away, two and two. One out, base is empty, bottom of the first inning, wildfire trailing the dirtbags, one to nothing in this underclass division championship game in the 2016 Summer Classic. The 2-2. Two -two. That goes to the backstop, and it's three and two. A 3-2 pitch, and that's foul to the backstop. And the pitch way off the plate outside. And it's the second walk given up in the inning, but again, that first runner picked off, so... One on and one out for Robert Granillo. Wildfire Black went 3-0 and through pool play and won a semifinal game to advance. The Dirtbags went 2-1 and but qualified for the elimination and they uh, beat the uh, Red Mountain Lions in the semifinals to advance. Is high and it's two and zero. Oh. One on, one out. Bottom of the first inning. Wildfire black down one to nothing. Borowski steps off and Makel heads back to first. And pitch bounced in there. Three and zero. Oh. And that pitch bounced in. That's ball four. So three walks to get things started. Again, the dirtbag's in a little better spot than they maybe should be, but they got that runner picked off over at first. So two aboard with one out. Christian Dorsett will bat, but uh, first a timeout from the dirtbag's dugout. Playing in the bottom of the first. Wildfire down. One to nothing. Yeah, Ready right after the timeout of the first pitch to Dorsett up and in for ball one. Pitch high and it's two and zero. Oh. Look back to second base. And a two zero pitch. That's over for a strike and it's two and one. Two one pitch. And a swing and a miss. It's two and two. Two aboard with one out here in the bottom of the first. Wildfire trying to get on the board and get even. And that's a soft liner caught by the second baseman, Growlick. And that is out number two. Yeah, 
Justin Clark, the catcher bats with two aboard and two outs in the wildfire first inning. Still trailing one to nothing. And that first pitch over for a strike one. And that's going to go to the backstop. A wild pitch sends Mikkel to third base, Grenillo to second. So now a pair of runners in scoring position for Justin Clark. If he can get a ball into the outfield. Swing and a miss for Clark in the count one and two. And the one two bounced over the right side. Growlick fields and on the first base. And Borowski able to pitch around three walks in the first inning. He does not allow a run. And a wildfire turned away in the bottom of the first inning. They leave a couple of runners on base and after one. Trail the dirt bags one to nothing. Justin Williamson going after the first pitch. Sends a ground ball over to the second baseman, Park. And he fields and throws to Weiss. And Williamson grounds out. One pitch and one out for the dirt bags in the second. And the batter is Matt Hall. First pitch high and away, ball one. And a swing and a miss. It's one and one. And a ball hit out to right center field. A little bit of a run over there, but it's the right fielder. Furman over to make the catch. And that's out number two. Bangs aggressive in the first inning. They got a run after Meade singled. Went to second on a error on a pickoff attempt over at first. Moved to third on a ground ball and then scored on a ground ball. But all of that happened four hitters and just seven pitches. And now two outs on the first four pitches of inning number two. Max Walker up there with two outs and the base is empty. And a pitch over for a strike. Two and one the count on Max Walker. And that pitch over for a strike and it's two and two. Two pitch, and that's fouled out of play. And Pfeiffer with a pitch, and that's low and in, three and two. Mason Kokodinski next for the dirt bags. See if he hits here in the second or leads off the third. Pfeiffer ready in a 3-2, and that's ball four. Pfeiffer gives up his first walk of the ball game. It's a two-out walk to Max Walker, and now he faces the aforementioned Mason Kokodinski. First pitch, low it in, ball one. That 
That breaks up a little stretch. Five in a row where they're retired by Pfeiffer prior to that walk. And the pitch over but low, and it's 2-0. Oh. Third bags lead 1-0. They got to run in the top of the first on an RBI ground out from Alonzo Rubio. Wildfire with three walks in the bottom of the first inning, but they did not score. And pitch low, and it's 3-0. and Swinging on 3-0, and Kokodinski on a pitch up out of the strike zone. And the 3-1 bounced in, and it's ball four. So back-to-back -back walks after two outs in the inning. Brings up. Anthony Caraballo. Walker at second, Kokodinski at first with two outs in the inning. And the first pitch to Caraballo over four strike one. Pitch low, one and one. Top of the second inning from Papago Park. Under Class Division Championship game of the 2016 Summer Classic. And two and one. Three and one the count. Need Elliott in the on deck circle for the dirt bags. And the pitch not close. Bounced in there, ball four. Three straight walks, and that'll prompt a timeout from the wildfire dugout. We play in the top of the second, still one nothing. Takes low for ball one. And then that ball hit well out to left field. Mako going back. It's going to get over his head. And Walker scores. Kokodinski scores. It's a two run double for Nate Elliott, and it's three nothing dirtbags. usually happens the walks come back to hurt and sure enough five for walks three straight hitters with two outs Nate Elliott makes him pay with a double over the head of the left fielder to score two and now a ground ball off the bat of Granillo out to shortstop as uh, Granillo fields and throws out Ty Mead and a 6-3 ground out ends the inning, but the Dirtbags had a couple of runs. They do it on just one hit, but three walks in the inning and two runners left after an inning and a half. Dirtbags three, wildfire nothing. Jimmy Villa, the leadoff hitter for wildfire black in the bottom of the second, takes high for ball one. And the next pitch way outside, two balls and no strikes. Via Pfeiffer and Weiss for wildfire in the second. Pitch off the plate, three and zero. Oh.
And that one not close. Four pitch walk to Villa to begin the wildfire second inning. They didn't really have trouble getting base runners. They had three walks in the first inning, but did not score. Now Pfeiffer will try to help his cause with Villa aborted first and nobody out. First pitch misses for ball one. That's five in a row out of the strike zone. And that's bounced in off of Hall to the backstop. And via a second on a wild pitch. Another timeout from the Dirt Banks dugout. It's 3 nothing as we play in the bottom of the second. Three balls and no strikes as we return to play. And a pitch misses for ball four. That's eight in a row out of the strike zone. Two aboard with nobody out for Jonathan Weiss. Get a courtesy runner over at first as Christian Dorsett is in to run. And the ball bounced in, going to throw behind the runner at second base, not in time. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. It was nine straight out of the strike zone to start the inning. A little bit surprised maybe that the wildfire they weren't going to take until they got a strike. Pounced in. That'll go to the backstop at a wild pitch. Moves the runners up 90 feet. On the count. Fastball misses outside. Three and one. And the three one. Oh, it's a called strike. Maybe a little help on that strike call. And a swing and a miss. Christian Furman bats for the first time and takes a strike. And a ball foul to the backstop, and it's 0 and 2. Second and third and one out, bottom of the second. Wildfire down 3-0. Okay, and a swing and a miss. Herman strikes out, two away. And the batter is Garrett Stumpson.
First pitch, low and outside, ball one. And a pitch near the outside corner of strike, and it's one and one. Prowski's 1-1 one, one pitch. Back near the outside corner of strike, it's 1-2. and two. Two walks to start the inning. Now back-to-back -back strikeouts. And Borowski ahead 1-2 and two on Stubson in the pitch. And a slow ground ball to the right side. Growlick fields and throws to first base. And that is in time. Blaze Borowski pitches out of trouble that uh, kind of his own doing there as he walks the first two hitters but gets two strikeouts and a ground out. And Wildfire Black turned away in the bottom of the second after two. They still trail three to nothing. A.J. Growlick goes after the first pitch and sends that into right center field, and that falls for a leadoff base hit for the Dirtbags in the third. Come on, Zoe. Don't worry about it. Alonzo Rubio had an RBI ground out his first time up. And a line drive, that's into right field, a base hit. Rollick stops at second base, and the first two are aboard. That brings up, plays Borowski at a fly ball to left field his first time up. But, uh, first we get a timeout from the Wildfire dugout, playing in the top of the third, three nothing dirt bags. And a pitching change for Wildfire Black. Robert Granillo on to pinch. And he starts Blaze Broski off with a fastball over the outside corner for strike one. Pitching change prompts a couple of other defensive changes for Wildfire. We'll tell you about those as that one's beat foul. First big sign on the count of one, two. So with Granillo taking over on the mound, that vacates the shortstop spot. And that's Eric Mekel who comes in from left field to play short. And Dylan Fine for the starting pitcher moves out to left field to take that spot. Fly ball out to center field. They're set there. And the runner does not try to advance from second base. So fly ball to center field is the first down in the dirt bag third. And the batter is Justin Williamson. Williamson grounded out his first time up, awaiting the first pitch from Granillo. And it's a line drive, but pulled well foul down the left side. Strike one. Back to second in the one strike pitch and a ground ball past the third baseman via down the left field line. Growlick has waved around. He'll score. Rubio will be held at third base and it's an RBI double for Justin Williamson. It's 4 0 dirt bags. Run charge to Pfeiffer. He's also responsible for Rubio, who's still aboard at third. Infuel comes in for wildfire. And a chopper down the third baseline foul off the bat of the catcher, Matt Hall. And that's strike one. Hall with a fly ball to right field his first time up. Wildfire with the infield on the grass trying to cut off a run at the plate. Fastball misses outside on the count one and one. Dirtbags with a run in the first. That was unearned. They scored twice in the second. They've got one so far in the third. Looking for more. 
The 1-1 one -one is bounced in. Two balls and a strike. And a pitch off the plate. Three and one. That 3-1 pitch. Swing in. And a foul ball down the third baseline. It's three and two. And a three two. Foul territory, first base side, and Weiss not able to make the play. Got turned around a little bit there and will continue to carry away from him. And so we stay three balls and two strikes. It's Rubio at third and Williamson at second with one out of run in for the dirt banks. They've stretched the lead out to four nothing. Championship game in the underclass division of the 2016 Summer Classic. Trying to throw, I think, a 3-2 breaking ball there, and that one started outside and ended up even farther away, and that loads the bases as Hall goes to first, and the batter is Max Walker. Hall will come off for a courtesy runner. It's... Borowski that'll run it first. And the first pitch to Walker is high for ball one. Max walked and scored his first time up. And a ball foul to the backstop and the count one and one. Final game of the tournament. All the other fields are quiet here at Papago. High pop up, first base side. That's foul territory and uh, playable there. And Weiss makes the play this time, and that's out number two. The batter will be Mason Kokodensky. First pitch fouled to the backstop, strike one. The one strike pitch. Also fouled back and it's 0-2. Kokodinski walked and scored in the second. Chance for the dirt bags to really open it up here. They have the bases loaded with one out after scoring a run, but now two outs in the inning. And a pitch high, and it's one and two. Grenio into the wind, the one two pitch. Bounced in and blocked by Clark, and they count two and two. That's bounced in. That'll trickle away. Runners coming in. Here comes the throw. Safe. As Rubio hustles in to score on the wild pitch to make it five to nothing. Now it's Williamson at third and Hall's courtesy runner Borowski at second.
And the pitch low for ball four. Kokodinski walks for the second time. It'll bring up Anthony Caraballo. Pitch over for a strike. They can close the book now on Dylan Fife for the starter for the Wildfire Black. The ground ball foul outside of third base, and it's 0 2. Pfeiffer goes two plus innings as he faced the first two hitters of the third without recording it out. Gives up four base hits, five runs, four earned. He walked three, did not strike out a batter. And the 0-2, and that's a swing and a miss, and strike three. And that will end the inning as Carballo strikes out, but the Dirtbags score twice in the third, and after two and a half, they lead five to nothing. Crew Park leads it off in the bottom of the third inning, takes a strike from new Dirtbags pitcher Nate Elliott. Ground ball. Elliott goes high to field it off the bounce and throws on to first base in time. 1-3 on the put out. And the batter is Eric Makel. First ball tapped foul, strike one. <laughs> so the line for Blaze Borowski, two innings, no hits, no runs. He walked five and struck out two. And a ground ball. Backhanded behind the bag at third. Thrown high at first, but uh, coming down with it, Kokodinski. No Walker makes a nice play on the backhand. To take away a potential base hit there. And now two away for Robert Granillo. First pitch bounced in, ball one. Fly ball out to right field. Caraballo, the new right fielder there to make the catch. And it's a quick and quiet three up, three down third for the Wildfire. After three, they trail the dirt bags five to nothing. Ten, one, and two in the order for the dirt bags as we begin the fourth. And Elliott with a ground ball over to Villa at third. And that's pumped across to first base in time. One pitch and one out in the Dirtbags fourth inning. And the batter is Ty Mead. First pitch to Mead high for a ball. The next one high, and it's 2-0. Oh. And three balls and no strikes to Meade, who singled and scored in the first and grounded down to in the second. And the pitch over for a strike. It's 3-1. and one. And that ball hit well out to right center field. That's going to split the outfielders. It'll be extra bases. Meade, ah, it won't be extra bases. Meade slips going around first base. So he'll stay put at first with a one-out single. It's the sixth hit 
of the uh, ball game for the Dirtbags. And now the batter is J.J. Growlick. Growlick grounded out of the first, singled and scored in the third. And he takes high for ball one. One on one out top of the fourth inning, five nothing dirt bags in the underclass division championship game. It's the 2016 Summer Classic. It's the first tournament in this summer series for Southwest Woodbat Classics. They've had tournaments throughout the spring for 13 and 14 and under age divisions, but back at it now with the high school seasons over. Throw down to first as the pitch was high. There'll be, uh, I believe, three tournaments in June. Another one in July, here in uh, the Valley anyway. And then their Telluride tournament in Colorado the last part of July. Pitch high, and it's a four-pitch walk to Growlick. What's up? And pushes Meade to second base. Now two aboard with one out for Alonzo Rubio. It was Rubio that got things started with an RBI ground out in the first inning after Meade singled. And a fly ball out to center field. Dorsett over there under it to make the catch. Runner bluffs but does not tag. And Rubio is out number two. Blaze Borowski, 0 for 2 today, a couple of fly balls. He hits another fly ball, but this one is deep out to right field. And that one hits off the base of the fence. Furman will get it back in as a run scores. Growlick will try to score all the way from third, or from first rather. The throw goes to third, and out is Borowski, but two runs are in as give uh, Blaze Borowski credit then for a two-run double. And then he is thrown out at third base for the uh, final out. But uh, Meade and Growlick both score, and that ends the inning. It's a two-run fourth. And after three and a half, the dirtbags extend the lead to seven to nothing. Christian Dorsen going after the first pitch. And puts that ball into right center field. Got it in between the outfielders. And Dorsett singles to get things going in the bottom of the fourth for Wildfire Black. And the batter will be Justin Clark. Another fly ball. This one into left center field and a catch made. Throw behind the runner at first. Turned into a close play over there, but uh, safe over at first. So Clark with a fly ball to Borowski, who is uh, now in left field. Dorset able to get back at first base, and now the batter is Jimmy Villa. Pitch misses for a ball. Throw over to first and the runner back. A high pop up out on the outfield grass and uh, right fielder. And second baseman, a little communication issue there. And via a board. It's uh, Rubio now in right field. And Growlick, the second baseman. That'll go as an error. And uh, Dorsett goes to second. So two aboard with one out. 
And the banner will be Jordan Heath. First pitch, low ball one. And a ground ball out to short. Took a hop and gets past the shortstop Meade and into center field, and that'll get a run in. So the wildfire black on the board. We're in the fourth inning as Dorsett scores. And that makes it 7-1. to Now runners at the corners with one out and a run in. And the batter is Jonathan Weiss. Swing and a miss, and uh, a runner from third base V. It has not come in, but Heath goes to second. So that takes care of the uh, double play possibility, and now a chance to knock in a couple of runs. 7-1 to our score in the bottom of the fourth. Another count on Weiss. And a pitch outside, 3 and 0. And a 3 0 from Elliott swinging on 3 and 0, and that sounded like a broken bat. Sure enough. Count goes to three and one. Nice pitch. And a big curve ball. I guess that previous pitch was uh, two and one, so not swinging on three and oh, swinging on two and one made it two and two. And now the breaking ball there runs the count full, and that ball fouled off. Second and third with one out. Wildfire finally on the board here in the fourth. And a fly ball out to left field. Runner will tag from third base. Catch is made. And another run is in to make it seven to two. Sacrifice fly off the bat of Jonathan Weiss. And two away in the inning. And again, it uh, makes the score seven to two. And the batter will be Bryson Palmer. And Palmer going after the first one, pops it up on the right side, and that's caught by the first baseman, Kokodinski, and that will end the uh, inning for Wildfire Black. But they scored twice at the bottom of the fourth, and after four, trail seven to two. Justin Williamson leads things off in the top of the fifth inning. Takes low and in for ball one. Jonathan Weiss now on the pitch. It's up and in, and it's 2-0. and oh. A 2-0 pitch, low and away. Three balls and no strengths. And 
and that's inside ball four. So a four-pitch walk to get things started in the fifth. And the batter is Matt Hall. Robert Granillo goes two innings for Wildfire, allows three hits, two runs both earned, three walks, one strikeout. And a ground ball, fouled outside of third base for strike one. Runner goes, the pitch misses, the throw to second base is in time. Clark throws out Williamson trying to steal second base. Came inside and that one hits Hall on the hand or the wrist. So they'll check on him as he makes his way to first base and the batter will be Max Walker. And the ball bounced in on the first pitch to Walker as Alonzo Rubio is on to run for Hall. Courtesy runner for the catcher in the last batted out, which was Rubio. So he's out there at second. And a ground ball over on the left side. That's through and into left field for a base hit. Maybe that'll put runners at the corners with one out for Mason Kokodinski. the end of the bat into right field. That's caught. And the throw into the infield in a hurry. And runners are safe all around. Well, I guess the runner's on base. Kokodinski lines out to the right fielder for out number two. Ball. And he takes low for ball one. Next one outside, and it's two and oh. drive and that's into right field for a base hit to get a run in and the uh, ball cut off in the infield as Walker goes from first to third on the play Caraballo with an RBI single to make it eight to two and that brings up Nate Elliott Third, knocked down, picked up, and thrown on to first base, and that is in time. 5-3 ground out ends the Dirtbags. Fifth inning, they get one run back, and after four and a half, lead 8-2.
Garrett Stumpson going after the first pitch in the bottom of the fifth inning in a fly ball. Pitch and one out in the bottom of the fifth inning for Wildfire Black. And we're back to the top of the order for Crew Park. And there's a high fly ball out to the left field. And that's put away. Borowski with a catch, two down. Mankle, who walked in the first and grounded out in the third. First pitch off the plate, ball one. And a grounder foul outside of third base. They count one and one. One one pitch. A ground ball foul. First base on. It's one and two. A couple of hundred runs in the bottom of the fourth inning. Trying to settle back in here in the fifth. Breaking ball misses two and two. And a ground ball, and that's through the hole and into left field a base hit. Mackle aboard for the second time. Brings up Robert Grineo. Eight to two our score. The Dirtbags have scored in every inning. One in the first, two in the second, two in the third, two in the fourth, one in the fifth. Wildfire with their two runs in the bottom of the fourth inning. And a fly ball into shallow right near the line over to make the catch. The right fielder there to put it away. And it's a quiet Fifth inning for the Wildfire Black. No runs on a base hit. They leave one, and after five, Wildfire Black trail the dirt bags by a score of eight to two. Dirt bags send up the top of the order in the top of the sixth, and Ty Mead with a swing and a miss, strike one. Wildfire using their fourth pitcher of the ball game as Jimmy Villa is on a pitch. Now one and one they count. Garrett Stubson in at third base in place of Villa. Next one bounced in and it's two and one. Mentioned the Dirtbags lost their first pool game. They lost to Wildfire Red six to five. Count goes to three and one. But then a 15 nothing win over Grinder 16U and a 3 nothing shutout of Gauchos Black before the semifinal win earlier today against the Red Mountain Lions. Leadoff walk sends Meade to first base and brings up J.J. Growlick. Pitched to Growlick high for a ball. Hello. 
Pitch bounced in. And the runner takes off as the throw sails into center field. Now they got a chance for him at third base. Let's sink the call. Good hustle to get around to third base for Meade. So Meade to second on a wild pitch to third on a throwing error. That's the second error of the ball game for the Wildfire Black Squad. And that puts a runner at third base with nobody out. Would expect the infield's got to come in. They do now kind of on the jog as Villa delivers the pitch to the plate and it's over for a strike. Two and one on Growlick with a runner at third and no one out. Eight to two the scores we play in the sixth. And that'll bounce in for ball three. Blocked there by Clark. And the 3-1 pitch. And a ground ball to short. Runners coming home. Here comes a throw to the plate and uh, out by a bunch. Grounder right to Granillo and he throws a strike to Clark at the plate to get Meade. 6-2 on the play at the plate. Ground like a board on a fielder's choice. And the batter is Alonzo Rubio. First pitch on the inside corner, strike one. Yeah, that ball, a shot into right center field. Dorsen gets it back in quickly as Rubio has his second base hit. Rowlick to second base. And the batter is Blaze Borowski. Swing and a miss, strike one. Swing and a miss, and it's nothing in two. Two aboard and one out, top of the sixth inning, eight to two dirt bags. And a swing and a miss. Browski out number two in the sixth inning, and the batter is Justin Williamson. First pitch, fastball off the plate, ball one. Williamson had an RBI double earlier in the ball game, one for two plus a walk. The 1-0 pitch. A high pop-up, foul territory in the third base side. Stubson over there and makes the play. And that ends the inning. First time of the ball game, the Dirtbaggers do not score. After five and a half, they still lead eight to two. Dorsen takes ball one. Now 2 0. Oh. Dorsen, Clark, and Via in the bottom of the sixth. Ball sent uh, through the right side and into right field, a base hit. Door sent aboard for the second time. He's two for three. And the batter, Justin Clark.
Elliott will toss it over to first base and the runner back. And a ground ball and a fair ball just inside the bag. Dorsett on his way to third base. He'll be held there and it's a double for Justin Clark. Good start to the inning here for Wildfire Black in the bottom of the sixth. Not only two aboard, but two in scoring position as Christian Furman will run for Clark and second base. The matter is Jimmy Villa. And Wildfire Black trying to make some noise here in the bottom of the sixth inning, trailing 8-2. to two. Chance to cash in a couple of runs. I pop up on the first base side, and that's out of play. Wildfire Black went three and zero through pool play. Beat they uh, beat the CC Bombers eight to nothing. They beat Edge Navy fifteen to one. They beat Arizona. Pro Gray or AZ Pro Gray, eight to nothing. And then they beat Gauchos Black in the semifinals. One and one to count on Via with Jordan Heath next. And a fly ball into center field. Runner from third will not tag. Sophia flies out for out number one. Runners remain at second and third. And the batter, Jordan Heath. Pitch low, ball one. Elliott with the look back in the pitch. And that's fouled out of play down the left side. And they count one and one. Pitch. That's punched out, and that's going to dunk out into left center field. A run will score. They're going to thought about sending the other runner around. And coach from third base sent him, but he stutter stepped and then stopped. The runner did. So it goes as an RBI single to make it eight to three. Torset scores. Clark stops. Actually, is a courtesy runner. Furman stops at third base. Heath aboard at first. And the batter is Jonathan Weiss. First pitch low, ball one. Pitch inside, and it's 2-0. and oh. Two aboard with one out, a run across. Four wildfire black at the bottom of the sixth. It's 8-3. to three. Nice pitch. And a pitch over for a strike, and it's 2-1. and one.
And a pitch over the outside corner of strike, and it's two and two. Breaking ball, low and away, backhand, and then a throw down to third, and the runner back. And the 3-2. And that's popped up over on the right side. And a running catch made by Kokodensky for out number two. Shot off the glove of the shortstop into left field. A run will score. Here comes a throw to the plate. And out at the plate. Wildfire. It's a runner thrown out at the plate. But uh, one run scores ahead of that. As uh, Clark's courtesy runner scores. And then Heath is thrown out at the plate to end the inning. It's an RBI single. And uh, ends the inning for Wildfire Black. They get a couple of runs, and it's now 8-4. to four. Matt Hall leads off in the top of the seventh inning for the Dirtbags and takes low and away for ball one. Hall, Walker, and Kokodinsky scheduled for the Dirtbags here in the seventh. And the 1-0 pitch over for a strike, and it's 1-1, one a one, uh, one and one rather. Ball fouled off, third base side of the count one and two. Jimmy Villa out for his second inning of work. It was a bumpy top of the sixth, but uh, put up the first zero of the ball game. Held the dirt bag scoreless in the sixth. There's a swing and a miss, ball in the dirt, so they'll throw on to first base. And it goes as a strikeout of Matt Hall and a 2-3 put out. That's the first down of the inning, and the batter will be Max Walker. First from the Walker misses for ball one. I mentioned... A lot of tournament activity coming up in the Southwest Woodbat Classics. The next tournament, the Desert Classic, June 9th through the 12th. A swing and a miss, and it's one and one. Then the Copper State Summer Showcase, June 16th through the 19th. The Cactus Classic, June 23rd through the 27th. The Summer Nationals, July 14th through the 17th. And then the Telluride Mountain Classic, July 21st through the 24th. The one-two pitch, yeah, and a swing and a miss. Walker strikes out, two away. Third strikeout for Jimmy Villa. And we look ahead to the wildfire bottom of the seventh inning. They'll send up 10-1 and two in the order. First one to Kokodensky high for ball one. And the next one bounced in there. Two balls and no strikes. The 
2 0 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one, two and one. Kokodinsky's been on board a couple of times, walked and scored in the second, walked again in the third, and then lined out to the right fielder in the fifth. And a high fly ball into right field this time. And put away, and it's a three up, three down, seventh inning for the dirt bags. We'll go to the bottom of the seventh. It's eight to four. First pitch to Garrett Stumpson high for ball one. 10 1 and 2 in the order for Wildfire in the bottom of the seventh inning. And a pitch over for a strike. And a round ball out to short. High hop picked up and on to first base in time. 6-3 ground out starts at the bottom of the seventh and it brings up Crew Park. Pitch to Park over for strike one. <laughs> and this one misses for a ball, and they count one and one. A one one pitch. That's high, two balls and a strike. Out. Base is empty in the bottom of the seventh inning. It's the uh, underclass division championship game of the 2016 Summer Classic. Three and one now. The count on Park with Eric Mickle next. And a 3 1 pitch. And that's bounced in. Ball four. Park to first base. Michael yeah. one for two plus a walk. Throw over to first and the runner back. Eight for our score in the bottom of the seventh. Again, a throw over. But I don't really want to spend a whole lot of energy worrying about that runner at first base. It's nice to keep him there to keep that force play intact at second, but sure don't want to lose a lot of focus on the plate as the pitch misses low for ball one. And time called. And next pitch misses for a ball when it's 2 and 0. Oh, and the pitch on the inside corner is strike and it's 2 and 1. Nate Elliott in his fifth inning of work. He started the bottom of the third inning and he has gone the rest of the way. That throw over to first base gets away and again I don't know that you want to spend a whole lot of time worrying about that runner. And a shot out to short and they get it out at second on to first base and it's a double play. 
And that is the ball game. Boy, great effort there. And that uh, ball got on the shortstop in a hurry. He had to backpedal some, but uh, was able to stay with it. It goes 6 4 3 on the double play. And that's the ball game as the Wildfire Black failed to score in the seventh inning. And we go final 8 to 4. Totals on the ball game unofficially for the Dirtbags eight runs on 10 hits. Two errors and nine runners left on. For Wildfire Black, four runs on six hits, one error, and five runners left on base. Nate Elliott gets the win for the Dirtbags, and Dylan Pfeiffer takes the loss for Wildfire Black as we play an hour and 51 minutes in this underclass division championship game. So that will do get our final score. It's the Dirtbags, eight and Wildfire Black 4 from Papago Park. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network saying so long. Congratulations once again to the Dirtbags. They're the underclass division champions of the 2016 Summer Classic.